Join me as I dive into the science and see if I can uncover whether the melting permafrost is actually a ticking time bomb for our planet. Permafrost, a term that might sound unfamiliar to many, is actually a crucial component of our planet's climate system. It's a layer of frozen soil and rock that's found in Arctic regions, covering about 25% of exposed land in the Northern Hemisphere. But it's not just a frozen wasteland. It's home to a vast amount of carbon that's been locked away for thousands of years. Permafrost is melting at an alarming rate, and it's happening fast. In some areas, the temperature of the permafrost has risen by as much as 3 degrees Celsius over the past few decades leading to a staggering loss of ice cover. This is a problem because permafrost stores massive amounts of carbon dioxide and methane, both potent greenhouse gases that contribute to global warming. As the permafrost melts, these gases are released into the atmosphere, accelerating climate change. The consequences of this are far-reaching. Thawing permafrost is causing buildings to collapse, roads to crack, and ecosystems to shift. It's also having a profound impact on local communities, many of which rely on the permafrost to hunt and fish. But the global implications are just as dire. As the permafrost melts, it's releasing massive amounts of carbon into the atmosphere, which in turn is driving climate change. The science behind this is complicated, but essentially, it boils down to this. Permafrost is like a massive carbon sink, holding onto greenhouse gases that would otherwise be released into the atmosphere. As it thaws, it's like opening a carbon Pandora's box. All that stored carbon is released, amplifying climate change. Permafrost is incredibly effective at sequestering carbon because it's been frozen for so long. The carbon stored in permafrost is estimated to be around 1,700 billion metric tons. That's roughly the same amount of carbon that's been released into the atmosphere since the Industrial Revolution. And as the permafrost melts, this carbon is being released at an alarming rate. The implications of this are enormous. If current trends continue, we could see up to 120 billion metric tons of carbon released from permafrost by 2100. To put that in perspective, that's equivalent to about 20 years worth of current fossil fuel emissions. It's a staggering amount of carbon, and it's being released at a time when we desperately need to be reducing our emissions. The predictions are dire. Some scientists are warning that we could see up to 40% of the world's permafrost disappear by 2050. That's just 30 years from now. And the consequences of that would be catastrophic. A massive release of carbon into the atmosphere, accelerating climate change to the point where it becomes almost unstoppable. To summarize, the melting of permafrost is a ticking time bomb that has the potential to accelerate climate change in the coming decades. It's a complex issue, but one that's essential we address if we want to mitigate the worst effects of climate change. Thanks for watching, and let me know in the comments what you think about permafrost melting. Do you think it's a ticking time bomb, or can we do something to stop it? And if you're new here, be sure to check out my other videos on climate-related issues.